A few weeks ago, I was on a safari trip to Kenya and this safari trip covers pretty much the most famous safari in the country. So Masai Mara, Nakuru, Naivasa, Amboseli and it starts and ends in Nairobi. So while I, while I was planning this trip, I thought to myself why not just combine it with the coastal area like Malindi, Mombasa because on the pictures it looks so so great. So why not, right? So I began my research and I found out that there is actually direct train from Nairobi to Mombasa and you can experience safari on the trip. So fantastic! I mean, where else you can experience this safari, African safari on the train? And who will skip it? Not me. It's very new to me, so I have to experience this safari, train safari Madaraka Express. Oh, by the way, that's how it's called, Madal Madaraka Express train. So this is all how it started and I'm going to tell you how uh, it went. First of all, as an outsider, people who live abroad or people who live in Europe, whatever, doesn't matter, you cannot buy this ticket online. Um, so not without M-Pesa or m mobile, mobile money system or people who doesn't have access or who doesn't have a Kenyan mobile number. I panicked a bit because I really want to experience this safari on the train and I spoke to some agencies and then they charge a lot of money. Uh, finally, I tried to talk to my safari agency and actually they can help us without extra fee. So I was over the moon. I thought that was it. That's all the process. I mean, like I've took many train rides during my existence and usually you just need to book your ticket online and you just need to show up and sometimes maybe someone will check your ticket wrong <laughs> so if you ever book this madaraka train safari express you should arrive to the train station minimum one hour and a half before and i'm gonna tell you why the security, so there are so many checkpoints, check levels, and to pass the security alone, it can take easily one hour. And especially if you are tourists like my groups, we bought so many souvenirs <laughs> and the security just take lots of lots of time to check all our belongings. So first for check security checks, uh, you pass this uh, screening machines to screen your goods and then there is dog sniffing and then ticket printing. So yes, even though you have already bought your ticket online, you still have to print, print it at the terminals and you can only print it at the terminal. So there were so many f people, it was like there are only five or, or six uh, machine that can print your tickets and the, the terminal was like full of people who wants to print their ticket and there is there are no queue so you just like pushing yourself to to get your ticket printed and yeah <laughs> so i was like so panicked because i we were so afraid to miss our um our train but it and even after the Ticket printing, we still have to pass many security. I think two two more securities before it's finished. Oh yeah, you also cannot book your seats. So the machine will uh, allocate your seats automatically, whether you like it or not, whether it's window seats or not. <laughs> and after that, you have to pass another two um, security points, one ID, one ID checks, and you are good. So we arrived to the boarding hall quite on time, just a few minutes before the boarding was announced. And this we arrived, like we arrived two hours prior to the departure time. The good thing was the train was on time. Now, is the train really express? Um, not really. Occasionally it's reached up to 115 km per hour, but inside of the train it feels so smooth. So it feels like a normal speed. Is it worth it? Um, if you just came back from safari trip, I think it's not so worth it. <laughs> and yes, you get to see the animals along the way, but it passed very quick. So the chance is you can miss the chance very, like very easily. Although we saw several animals along the way, but I think if you have flexible budget, it's better to take direct flight from Nairobi to Mombasa because the 
how to say like the hassle is not really worth it and also the the cost of flight from Nairobi to Mombasa it's almost the same as business class seat uh, from from in on the train uh, but if you're on the tight budget then it's I think it makes sense to take the economy seat on the train from on the safari train so yeah I think that's my opinion Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, in a few days, I'll go to Cyprus for a co-working trip and I hope to go live there so I can see, show you the villa where we'll stay. Um, yeah, see you there. Bye.